Now, the main thing you start the ridge, work down. All right, start you at the top, stay, work down. Stay below your shingles so that when you're spraying, the spray goes up under the edge of the shingle. If you start at the bottom and work up, you're going to leave a gap all along the edges that I, just, just doesn't cover. Okay? All right. So, spray to a point where it's just running. And that'll give you, if you can see that, I'm not sure it's just, just running. You're not trying to get it so saturated that it's running off the roof and you're standing in it. The rate you're going on is about 120 square feet to a gallon. Okay? All right. Start going. Let me try it. We have a nice breeze here. You want to hold that camera? Say that's about right. That's about right. Right there. Yeah, so we almost have a little bit of run, right? Right. All right. You tell me I need to take a little bit smaller path. Right? That's right, don't That better? There you go. All right. How's that looking to you? That's looking good. That's looking good. Right? Just a little bit of it runs just, just, a, along, yeah. just a tad. Now this is a a, a penetrant, so All it right. disappears into the shingle. Right. Any runs, if it runs, it doesn't matter. It just We didn't have to do it. You may have to power wash the roof first. You say if it's an older roof, you might have to go power right. wash. There will be a lot of fungus and uh, accumulation of dead, dead uh, shingle and what have you on there. You'll want to power wash it off. Some of them you can get by with just sweeping. Make sure there's no loose debris or anything on it, especially something that you could step on. And, and lose your footing. Makes it easy to tell where you've been. Is it going to change the color of the shingle? When this dries, you'll never know it was even on there. But what it will do is extend the life extend of your the shingle. Life because your shingle, that's an antifungal that's in there. Shaping. Okay. Bill? You were saying there's an antifungal in the uh, plane or shingle safe? Right. And it's how not... much will that retard the growth of mold and mildew where these, uh, where it turns dark on some of these roofs? The antifungal effect of this is going to last about five years. Now, what will happen is you'll get the normal bleaching, which is a white bleaching right. on your uh, shingle. But you won't get that black and, and dark, dark green uh, growth on it. So it makes them look newer longer. Okay, so it'll still turn dark, but you won't get the green growth. Right. All right. Now that's, I just started, I'll let the pro get back in it. Okay. I'll fall and wash. Avoid at 
how possible getting it on glass. If what happens if you over, get some over? If you get some overspray on it, it's going to leave spots that are, are visible okay. for the customer. You want to leave them a good job. So Can just you take some. It off? Just take a damp rag, wipe it off. And wipe it off. Okay. There's, there's no problem with it. It is water-based, and while it's still wet, it's easily washed off. Okay. Once it's dry, for some reason, some goes over the eave, uh -huh. gets under windows down there, and it's already dry. Just a normal paint scraper. Okay, to scrape window, it off. Windows, razor blade window scraper, uh -huh. and it'll scrape right off. All right, real good. Okay. Thanks, Bill. How many square feet per hour can you put down? Well, that depends on the elevation. I mean, your pump is pumping a gallon a minute. Right. So you're talking... 120 square feet per 120, minute? 120 square feet per minute. So okay. it just depends on how fast you're moving on the roof. And, uh, All right, I understand. And you can tell... telling you not to do, I am doing okay. But you can look and see how well your coverage is. Oh, yeah. Back. It appears to be wet, so you can tell if there's a dry spot. Okay. Going down on plants, shrubs, uh -huh. and such. All right. Because it is harmless to, to plant life. To plant life. Now, if it gets a heavy dose, it might turn a leaf brown or something like that. You know, like if we drip some on it or right. pour some on the grass down there. It might burn. It, it's what it is. The fertilizer burn. Okay, okay, it's fertilizer burn if you get it on there. But it didn't kill it. Okay, it'll turn green again. But just the overspray, like if there were shrubs growing up around the house, and you sprayed into it, it wouldn't hurt. Okay. It's a concentration of the thing, not the chemical. Not the chemical. Do I need to get a damp rag to wipe those skylights down? All right. This new rig that you have is really good. Does that make it easy for you? Oh, it makes it a lot easier. Uh -huh. That stuff's kind of bitter to the taste or kind of stings yeah. a little bit. That make it a lot easier to put on what you've been using. Oh yeah. You need a longer wand, or is that about right? No, oh, for this, this seems to be pretty good, right? Pretty here. good. Well, I use the longer wands when I get real steep roofs. That way I okay. don't have to climb up to reach. All right. Also, sometimes you'll get uh, uh, like a chimney that's been right. then has been uh, framed in right. and is shingled or something. Okay. Then, then you, you can stand down and reach up and spray okay. it. All right. You don't have to bring a ladder up on the roof. The thing is, you want to keep your travel on the roof as little as right. possible. come in good when you're getting down to the eaves like this yeah a longer wand okay so you can with a you want me to get you a longer wand now no we'll go ahead and finish this on down to within just a few feet of this okay and then uh but what you can do a low place like this you say go oh, you're saying get the low ease from from, from, from the, the ground, ground side right okay all right go ahead Don't do what I did one time. Step off the edge of the roof. Oh, okay. Working along, didn't wasn't paying attention.